Very cool. All right, how you doing, man? Hey, he's tamed. Look at that. They named him Thales. That is not going to work for us. Who ever heard of a buffalo called Thales? Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm bringing you back a little sooner than I was planning because I still have a bunch of mining and stuff to do, but uh, we now have everything we need to make the bolt-action rifle. So let's do that. I wanted to definitely do that with you guys on camera uh, because this is a big milestone for us, and we've been putting points into rifles as well. Um, so what I'm going to do here is let's put the... The canteen, uh, and I did make a canteen, and I also made a uh, an oxygen tank. So we've made those things. Uh, so we're going to put the rifle in slot three and slide all of this stuff over. And put that right down there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, now... I have been also making gunpowder, and we are in the process of smelting iron, I think, aren't we? Oh, no, actually, you know what? I spent all my iron on steel bloom. So we can make a few bullets. Uh, 29, as a matter of fact. That's not too bad. And then, you know, I'm going to be, of course, you know, hoarding iron like crazy and continuing to make gunpowder, which is sulfur in... Um, let's put that over there. Sulfur and, uh, what the hell is this called? Charcoal. <laughs> Old guy. Brain. Yes. All right. So we are, um, sorry, I have another point. I uh, actually have four more points in the tech tree. So, uh, I was going to show you the talents though. So for the solo talents... We still have two more points to put in Bring a Gun to a Gunfight, uh, which will increase us first to five and then to 10%. And for normal talents, we are um, two out of three for a uh, rifle re redress, which is, is extra damage. And then all of these down here are definitely worth going for, especially the critical, but um, some of these are kind of more voodoo witchcraft kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> like chance to not consume ammo when shooting, but um, thirty percent for farms recovered during breaking. Eh. Uh, accuracy that's going to be a good one. Um, possibly running with firearms, but the twenty-five percent less carry weight is going to be a huge one because these things are heavy. All right, so we got that done, and um, let's see. Is there anything else I need to update you on? I don't know if I had made my platinum X last time I was with you, so we did that as well. And, uh, oh yeah, we do have these four points. So let's take a look at what we want to do. I think we want to start thinking about um, maybe taming some animals because I could really use the help with the buffalo to haul things. Um, and now that we have the rifle, uh, along with our elite skills with bows, uh, we can probably keep them alive if we get attacked. So why don't we go over to here and we need food trough and water trough. We have two more points, right? Riding saddle and animal bed. Okay, so those are all the things that we need to tame animals. Now, I had mentioned to you guys earlier that I was thinking about getting the stockade walls. Where are those at? And then I was saying, well, maybe I won't because the island's pretty safe, but I'm kind of changing my mind on that because, you know, we need to create a, a pin for the animals. I don't want them, yeah, the wood wall fortic fortifications. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do these. Uh, and we're also going to do the wooden buffalo cart too. We, that's going to be essential for, for doing massive hauling uh, with the buffaloes. Um, so we'll probably do that, you know, when we when we level next. Um, I am also, just FYI, back to a DirectX 12. Um, 11 ended up being a little bit smoother, but it was also very unstable and, and caused my game to crash. And it also screws up all... Uh, I have three monitors whenever I tab out, which I have to do frequently. 
Um, so I'm back to 12. So 12 is a little, it looks nicer, but it's a little more, uh, framing is not really the word. It's just, it freezes and glitches a bit. So, but we need stability. So we're going to just put up with DirectX 12 for now. Okay, we got a bear. We need to test our rifle out on the bear if we can figure out where he is at. I got the sun glaring in my eyes. He's right over in the woods here somewhere. One way we could get his attention is just to fire a random shot because that'll attract him, but I don't really want to waste my bullets. I'd like to get a stealth shot and see if we can one-shot him. I hear a pig too. Okay, let's do this. Um, I hear a pig off this way. So let's go over here. And uh, see if we can... We'll, we'll take out the pig and see if we can also get the bear. I am um, also pretty much now at the point, we do need to look at uh, doing some repairing on our armor, uh, especially now that we have the gun. I'm kind of at the point where I can pretty much hold my own now um, in this environment. Um, I've, I've even, you know, I'm even going out at night. I know that's not the smartest thing to do, but if I need to run back, you know, from the mine to the base to smelt, that sort of thing. I'm just going out at night. And I have been attacked by a bear at night on foot. Uh, I tried to hit the record button, but it happened so fast that, you know, surviving was a little more important than <laughs> recording. Uh, but I did survive it, and it was even during a storm, too. Uh, I managed to do the, you know, the little dodge and shoot and dodge and shoot thing. And so we killed the bear. Um, and so, you know, that, that's just, that just means we're... Well, we're getting tougher, and we're surviving more easily. And we don't have to worry so much about going out and about now. And we will continue to get tougher as we level up and get even better equipment. But we're just, you know, we're kind of at that transition point, I guess is what I'm trying to say, from um, doing every possible thing we can to survive um, with these hard settings to just, you know, more what I would call normal gameplay. Uh, the storms continue to be the bane of my existence. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it is, especially since we're playing on hard mode. All right, now, uh, we heard the bar over here somewhere. All right, well, I'll tell you what, this storm's being a pain in the ass. So I'm going to run down to this mine. I got a little bit more ore that I can pull out of it. And when the storm is done, I will bring you guys back and we'll keep hunting for bear. And we're also going to see if we can tame ourselves a buffalo. And maybe even a moa, too, because why not, right? What direction am I going? I need to go this way. All right, guys, the storm is finished. Um, there's nothing left in here except for titanium. I have mined a, enough titanium to where when I get to the point where I can make the titanium pick, I should have enough. So I'm saving the rest of the titanium until we get that pick for the same reason as before. So we can maximize the yield. All right, I think I heard a bar out here. So let's see if we can get back to our bear hunting. And uh, also looking for buffalo, too, for taming. Well, we should probably go back to the base first. There's some buffalo. Uh, and get the animal stuff set up. Well, there's a jag. <laughs> Okay, let's keep looking for a bar. There's a bar right there. He's probably going towards the sound of where we just shot, or either that or he's going after the jaguar we just dropped. Yeah, he must be going after the jag because we shot over there. All right, let's stalk him here. Take this wolf out with a bow. And then stay hidden in the bushes and see if it pulls the bear back out.
It's bringing a Komodo in. Stupid Komodos. Here he is. All right, well, we downed the bear in two shots. Ooh, I'm liking this, you guys. I am liking this. We are the king of the forest. Well, maybe. <laughs> Hey, quit eating my bear. Okay. I'll take it. And we're only going to get better, too. Okay. Let's head on back to the base. And, um, where is the base? This way. And make the animal stuff that we need. And then we're going to see if we can tame ourselves a buffalo. And or a MOA. MOAs are really only good for fast traveling because they're fast, but they I think they only have one, maybe two at the most inventory slots. Uh, whereas the buffalo, you know, can they're not as fast, but they can hold a lot more. There's a baby buffalo right there. What happened to your mama? All right, let's try something here. Maybe we can tame this little feller and I don't have to feel bad about killing its mother. Okay, press uh, E to lead creature. Okay, so it should follow us. Hopefully there's no piranhas around. Come on. Come on, buddy. I guess that's going to be his name, Buddy the Buffalo. I can't name him Bill because uh, my buffalo on a, my multiplayer game is Bill. Actually, Bill version 2 because Bill version 1 got it. Okay, so... Uh, He needs food and he needs to be happy, which I think is what the bed's for. Okay, so let's go into here. Uh, where do I make that stuff, by the way? Probably in here, I'm guessing. Oh, no, you know what? I'll bet you we make it inside the tailoring th uh, thing, which I did eventually grab. All right. Buddy, you're going to have to come out here. Okay, just stay put. While I put this enormous station thingy down. There we go. Okay, so we need to make him a bed, so we need fiber. Okay, so let's get him his bed, and that makes him happy. And we're just going to put it right here. There. Are you happy now? Well, maybe it takes a while for him to get happy. It said he's sleepy. Uh, but we got to feed him, too. So, okay. So, for the trough... Stay there, buddy. There we go. Trough. So, we need nails. We need a 32 iron nails. Don't have any in there. Oh my goodness, I don't have any iron nails, period. We gotta go get some iron, guys. Alright, well, I don't know if Buddy will survive long enough. <laughs> well, he's sleeping. Alright, okay, are you happy now? Not quite yet. Alright, well, try not to die while I go get some iron, okay? Um, iron, let's see. All of the iron in the caves nearby... Oh, before we take off. Yeah, I, I know. I didn't quite prepare well for this, but things just kind of happen the way they happen. So it is what it is. Let's get 
get that cooking up. Oh, what are you doing in there? You're not supposed to be in there. All right, I'm going to drop off the coal in here because it's very heavy. And let's just put all of this stuff in here for now. We can go there. And the stringy meat. You go in here. Okay, so now he's happy. And he's 1% tamed. He's just hungry. So I don't know if his health will start to go down. He's at 100% health right at the moment. Press to stop leading, following you. Okay. Yeah. So is he going to stick around, though? Oh, you know what? I wonder if he's going to wander off. Well, if he does, he does. We'll just have to get another buddy. It'll be buddy version 1.1. He might stay there. I don't know. We'll see. But we got to get some iron. Uh, so we're going to run down to... We found a cave over towards um, where you know where you start to go to the Arctic biome. So that's we're going to go to that one next because I know where it is. I'm not sure if it's the next closest one, but at least I know where it is. Our original cave is completely emptied out, too, by the way. In case you were curious. Or I might, actually, I might have one. I might have one more titanium in that cave. I don't remember now. But anyways, it doesn't matter at this point. Where we are heading is right in here, I believe, is where that cave is. So not too far away. And we're just going to load up on as much iron as we can carry. Okay, we're not going to waste bullets on cave worms. At least not until we have a really good supply of them. Get our arrows back from these dudes. This place is loaded with worms. Okay. My steel arrows have been doing a pretty good job of not breaking. Okay, that's the end of the cave. Alright, let's grab as much iron as we can carry. Oh boy. Nice. Here comes the Jaguar. Seriously, three Jaguars? All right, I gotta get up here where I can see what's going on here. Dang. Okay, that was a little intense. All right, it looks like uh, Buddy is still there. He's just hungry, waiting for us to feed him something. Maybe it's just a situation where he doesn't lose health, but it just he doesn't tame until his you know taming progress doesn't happen until we get him some food. Let's look at him. No, he's not happy. Oh, he's still taming though. Okay. Well, here. Um, follow us, dude. Alright, we are going to put... 
some of the iron in here and some of the iron in here. Okay, so we just have to wait long enough to, <clears throat> excuse me, get some nails for, for Buddy there. Buddy the buffalo. And while we're waiting on that, uh, I think I'm just going to cook this meat at the moment. And we need to go either get some white meat, some juicy T-bone, or some gamey meat off a buffalo for our third thingy. Uh, or we could... Got some more fish curry there. We could make some creamed corn. I'm going to have to go get some corn. We got plenty of bacon and we're doing good on fish curry. Oh, you know what? We got this flatbread. Let's just use that for now. That's good stuff too. It doesn't give us as much health, but it gives us 100% stamina regeneration, which doesn't suck. All right, we got some ingots there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Now, for the trough, we need a total of 32 nails. So we need four ingots to make 32 nails. And we have eight. There we go. You know what else I don't have to put in there, though? I don't have any veggies. Uh, he'll take berries, though. Do I have any berries? Those are the easiest thing to find right away. Um, I don't really want to give him my soybeans. I, I've got to get this place expanded. This, this is such a pain in the neck. Come on. Seriously? Really? Come on, game. You're killing me. Okay. This is going to go. We don't need this anymore anyways at the moment. Uh, we should have the nails now. Okay, one food trough, and I'm going to be short some wood for the watering trough. I don't think the animals will drink directly out of the lake, which is, doesn't make any sense, but it's just the way it works. So we have to put water in the trough. Okay, so let's grab the two troughs there. All right, buddy. Uh, oh, oh, come on. Okay, you're killing me. Eh, at least it's not a su super serious storm. Um, let's just put his troughs down right here. And for his water, we just take our canteen and fill it up. Okay, now he can drink. We just need to go find some berries really quick. Here, come over here and drink. So any kind of veggie will work. We'll just grab whatever we come across first. Watch us run right into a bar. Uh, here's some berries. Okay. I know there were some watermelons over by the waterfalls, but that's, that's also a bear spawn point. I think he'll eat coffee beans, but we can grab him, I suppose. This is rather dangerous. In fact, this is very dangerous. Because not only is it dark and we can't see, but the storm is... Gonna... Oh, here, oh, here we go. The storm is gonna screw up our... Our speed when the bad part gets here. Can I just... Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's go. We need to get back, because this is not safe. Oh, carrots. Yeah, let's grab some of those, too. That'll work. Is there another one? Uh, don't see another one. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're good. Am I going the right direction? Yep, we're going right towards the base. A Komodo? Hmm. Okay, let's put that, that... And that in there. I don't even know where Buddy is now. But we gotta get out of this storm for because we're maximum exposure. 
If that Komodo killed Buddy, I am not going to be a happy camper. But he could be just wandering around over there. I don't see him on the map, though. I think that either the Storm or the Komodo killed him. In which case, retribution is going to have to happen. I don't want you around here anyway. Whether or not you killed my buffalo. Alright, buddy, are you alive? Oh, there's a boar. He's just hunkered down. Hey, maybe he'll give us some white meat. Nope, we got bacon though. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, well, we haven't technically tamed Buddy yet though, so, but I, you can usually see them I think on the map, so I'm afraid we might have lost him. Which really sucks, for all that effort. We can get another one of course, but. The storm is not supposed to hurt the animals as far as I know. So I don't think it was the storm, it was probably that Komodo. Yeah, here's Buddy's carcass. Dog, gone it. <laughs> well, Buddy can at least contribute. To what kind of shenanigans we got going on here? Can't get a headshot that way. Well, here, let's not waste bullets. We're gonna need, need to um, repair our armor too. Well, we almost got Buddy tamed, but it didn't quite work out. Something killed him. I don't know if the Komodo would have attacked him directly, but he was the only predator around when we got back, so it kind of makes sense to blame it on him, I think. But we have some veggies in there for... No, it doesn't take that. Okay. We have some veggies in there for the next one, and we have water, and we have a bed. So we just have to find another one. And we're going to sleep make it morning. Um, we need to eat this quick before it spoils. And I think we're good to go out and get ourselves another buffalo. Unfortunately, we're going to have to kill Mama, though, to get a new one, which sucks, but it's the way the game works.
All right, guys, we have a new buddy. <laughs> uh, so he's going to lay down for a little while and get some sleep. And then he's got food to eat. Uh, we'll grab some pumpkins for him, too. And some more berries. And he's got plenty of water. So uh, at this point, I guess we just wait until, until he, t he gets tamed. Uh, so while we're waiting on that, uh, knowing that uh, Buddy 1.0, this is Buddy 1.1, 1, 1 .1, by the way, <laughs> was killed, uh, we we definitely need an enclosure of some sort. Um, most More than likely that Komodo spawned on the island, but I'm thinking if we... Maybe make a corral starting here and going across there. That that will, you know, hopefully prevent any spawns from in the yard here. But I don't know if it will or not. The only time will tell. Um. So, okay. So he's he's one percent. He's happy. He's fed and he's warm. <laughs> uh, so, at this point, it's just a matter of time. And um. I don't think he has to keep following me. Um, yeah, he'll, he should be able to keep taming. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tech tree here and go back to tier two. And it is definitely evident that we need some kind of an enclosure for the critters. Now, I was thinking about doing hedgehogs and putting those down here on the ramps. So anything coming across the water, you know, would, would get into those. I don't know if the animals would hit the hedgehogs, though. So I think the safer bet for us is going to be to do those palisade walls. And so we're talking about the wood gate fortification and the wood wall fortification. Large, strong wood wall fortification. And there's also the wood spikes too. A large collection of spiked defenses which can be mounted to fortification walls. Oh, you can put those on the walls. Ooh, that's cool. All right, you know what? Let's grab this, and we want it. We want the buffalo cart too. So I'm gonna grab that now. We still have two points. Um, what do I want to put those last two points into at the moment? Uh, let's go back to tier three for a second, and uh, just let me look at this real quick, and see what the next highest priority is. We could do the biofuel drill, um, and we can start putting those on some. Of the mini deposits that are around here we may eventually go shotgun too but I don't have any points in it right now so I'm not I'm not gonna worry too much about that and I'm not really worried about aluminum or concrete building either um, or you know if we did do that we would do it maybe for like outer defenses but let's try these other things out first and just see how they do um, so if we're gonna do these we also need to do the biofuel cans as well. I already learned the biofuel itself. I just have to build it. Um, kitchen bench would also be really good. Electronics are going to be essential at some point, very soon. Um, but let me look through tier two again. I'm sure there's more things I would like to have. In fact, the wood walkway fortification. We might actually want that because then we would have to walk, you know, along the top of the wall to shoot at enemies. In fact, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that is a good idea. Now, also in tier three, we have hardened leather armor or cured leather. Okay, why is that locked? That's locked because we need advanced textiles bench. Textiles bench. We're also going to need the glass working bench. So let's do. Let's open this up so that we can then get to this armor um, when we level again. And we'll worry about the mining thingy and the biofuel can uh, in the near future. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on this guy and see if I can start setting up some of these uh, defenses. And I will bring you back when... See, he's already 18%. I'll bring you back when he's tamed and at full adulthood. All right, guys, back with an update. Uh, Buddy is 59% uh, tame, but he ate all of his food. We just had a big storm uh, pass through. You know what, though? Actually, now that I think about it, don't I have some corn? Yes, I do have some corn over here. Let's give him that because there's more corn around. We don't have to keep that there. Where is my sickle? That should uh, hopefully get him all the way. 
or get him close enough. Anyway, we know he'll still tame up even if he doesn't have food, but I'm assuming the food makes it go faster for him. He still has plenty of water. All right. Okay, so while he's doing that, <clears throat> excuse me, we are ready to start working on some of these fortifications. Um, oh, I was going to do some nails too, so let's grab these nails. Alright, so let's make the wood gate first. Hopefully we can just set that straight on the ground. And then uh, the wood wall we need more nails and we're gonna probably need some more wood too it's looking like but <clears throat> what I want to do with the gate is put it pretty much just right here right about here oh why that thing's big I think a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be okay so how about right there Look at that. Awesome. Okay, and then we'll put the walls on each side. This should come um, east. Okay, so if we point almost due west, it should come right to here, which should be fine because nothing's going to be able to get up on that side. And then on this side, we have lots of room in terms of being over the edge of the thingamadoodle. So if we point pretty much east... It's going to come to here. So, yeah, we should be good. Because I don't think anybody anything's going to be able to get up here um, on that side. All right. How you doing, bud? 71%. All right. He's coming along. Okay. So, let's grab some more of these nails. The only thing that could still be a problem is if a critter spawns inside of our compound. All right. Can I make at least two of those? Oh, we can, but we need to get some more wood. Okay, so let's make two of these. Hopefully, they'll reach to each side, and I won't have to make a third one. But we'll see what happens here. All right, will these snap together? They will. Oh, wait a minute, though. Why is that... Oh, too far, it says. Oh, look at that. You can pivot it. Oh, I like that. That is neat. All right, let's... Um, let's go to there. I want to see something here. Yeah, it's unlikely any any critter's going to be able to get up here. I mean, it's possible, but and if that does become a problem later on, we'll we'll have to make some more of these. I love these walls, man. These are cool. Okay, so I think we have to be on this side to get that to uh, press R. Okay, wait a minute. How do we get it to? Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so we want that to be right there. All right, so that means then that we're going to need to make another one of these. And I picked this up. It doesn't look like it. That's too bad because it's kind of... It's not straight, but it's going to have to do for now, I suppose. Okay, let's go in the house. Looks like Buddy's going to come in the house, too. Um, So, yeah, looks like we're going to need to make one more wall. And then I want a uh, walkway, wood walkway fortification. Let's make one of these. I just want to see what it looks like and how it works. And we need more wood for the spikes. I'm going to make those, too, and check those out. I'm going to have to, obviously, go farm up a bunch more wood. But so what else is new, right? Uh, okay, so we'll make the wood spikes. Okay, let's grab both of those. Eighty-eight percent on him. So we'll wrap this around to, I guess, right there. Oh, shoot. 
I should have held that out further, huh? Something could still get around there. Oh. Why won't you let us pick these up? All right, so I guess we're going to have to break it. I'm curious how many hit points these have, too. The only way we're going to figure that out is if we make a hammer. And you know what? I don't even have the hammer learned. Okay, well, let's just see how long it takes to break it. I hope it takes a very, very long time because then that means it's going to give us good defenses. I was, oh, okay, that didn't work. I was going to try and use Y on it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold to pick up. Oh, nice. Okay, you have to look at the... You have to look up higher. All right, we damaged this, and it's still damaged. But that's fine, because then we can repair it. All right, so yeah, we want this to come out... It's, the camera angle is really kind of tricky. I guess I could stand back a little more. Maybe have it go out more to there. That's better. All right, because, again, I don't think any critters can get up that way. Yeah, we're going to have to make a hammer. We're going to have to learn a hammer. Okay, now, let's check this thing out. These we put on the outside. Look at that. Okay. Even It even has spikes up high, too. I'm liking that, man. I wonder if it'll let us put one over here. Let's go make uh, two more of those. Oh, and I wanted to make these fortification thingies, too, or the walkways. All right, what are we short? Wood. Yeah, I, I'm going to just have to go get a bunch of wood. That's all there is to it. We want to go up here. See, none of this stuff was in the game last time I, you know, played several months ago. So I like this. This is good. And then we'll we'll make a ladder to get up onto top onto the top of that. Very cool. All right, how you doing, man? Hey, he's tamed. Look at that. They named him Thales. That is not going to work for us. Who ever heard of a buffalo called Thales? His name's Buddy. Buddy the Buffalo. Fantastic, you guys. We have tamed our very first critter in this game. Uh, my first time taming it at all because I, I haven't tamed anything on the multiplayer. Other people tamed him and I just claimed him kind of thing. I didn't tame and claim. I just claimed. But now I've tamed and claimed. Look at me and my bad self. Hey, buddy. Say hello to everybody. Buddy, buddy. Hello. Is there like a pet option here? Hold to access inventory. We need to... You know what we need to actually do is we need to aggro a, a critter and just make sure... I'm not worried about this side. But I think probably a, a jaguar could potentially jump up here. So we might end up having to put defenses up around the whole thing but here's what we're gonna do we need to wrap up this episode uh, so I'm gonna make a saddle uh, and that cart for buddy and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go farm up a bunch of wood so we can finish up these fortifications and then I'm gonna take buddy out to some of the further caves and just continue mining a bunch of ore as far as uh, next talents and things. Oh, we have talents already. Let's look at those. Let's put this right into bring a gun to a gunfight. And we are still working on... Okay, so we got plus 10 damage with rifles for this. And what does this do? 5% chance to craft additional ammo. We have to take this in order to unlock these lower things, which we do want to do. But... Um, 25% carry weight. You know what? I'm going to take this first because that's that's going to really help a lot. I'm not sure if I'll take the speed thing. Um, 
but yeah, that's where we are with that. Okay, so as far as tech tree stuff goes, uh, if I level once or twice off camera before I bring you guys back, um, we we need to learn the hammer, and I've always only just done the wood hammer. Um, I mean, it work it works well enough. So we need to do that. Then I learn a ladder. We might well, shoot. The only the problem with that though is. I have to unlock all this wood stuff to do the ladder, so I think we can do a stone ladder or a reinforced. Yeah, so we're going to learn the reinforced ladder here so that we can get up on the walkway of our fortifications there. So those two things we're going to learn. Uh, we are going to learn in Tier 3. We're going to learn electronics. We're going to learn kitchen bench and then all of the associated goodies that come with that. We're going to learn biofuel can and deep mining drill and the cured leather armor. Okay, so those are kind of the things that are coming up next and glass working bench too, uh, coming up next. So um, I'm not sure exactly when I'll bring you guys back, but I just, you know, I need some time to just do some farming and, you know, keep working on the base. I've started expanding the foundations of the base itself. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just going to do a bunch of farming, and I'll bring you guys back at some point in the near future when the time is right. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and say goodbye to Buddy the Buffalo. Say goodbye, buddy. Ah, oh, he's shy. Look at him. <laughs>